Hey guys, what's up? Stress-free challenge, here we go. I have been waiting for today's challenge for what feels like weeks because today's challenge is my absolute favorite. And I know that's dramatic, but it really is my favorite thing. It's probably gonna be your least favorite challenge, but it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And it's my favorite because it's the thing that makes the biggest impact on my physical stress levels. And that is, that's sort of a drum roll, right? Cleaning and organizing. Oh, I told you you were gonna hate it. But you guys, there is something about the physical surroundings that we live in. And when they are cluttered and they are dirty and there is hoarding and junk crap everywhere, I don't know how you guys are, but my brain does not function. And it literally stresses my physical body out when there is disorder and clutter and chaos and dirt and junk. Like I just don't feel good. My spirit, my body, my soul feels very, very icky. And I can't function even on a normal basis if there is clutter and junk and crap in my house. So I'll give you an example. If I come into my kitchen at five o'clock at night and I try to make dinner and there is cups and leftover gross pop tarts and wet washcloths and dirt and junk all over my kitchen counters and my bills and whatever junk has accumulated there throughout the days. And there's backpacks on the floor and shoes and coats. Remember you guys have five kids. That's a lot of clutter and a lot of junk. I can't function. Like I can't even make dinner until I wipe off the counter. And there's something powerful about when I clean out and wipe off, I can get so much done because my brain works again. So there's this proverb and it talks about, I'm totally gonna quote, like misquote it wrong, but it basically says to establish a house of order and a house of cleanliness and that those things are a house of God. A house of order is a house of God. A house of cleanliness is a house of God. And I totally believe that. My house is not always full of the Holy Spirit. There are days when I am angry at my kids. There are days when I lose my temper. There are days when there are homework books and phones and backpacks and shoes and coats and gloves and hats and whatever, wet dripping swimsuits all over my house. Like that is just reality. There are toys and blankets and laundry and dishes, right? Five kids creates a lot of that. But I will tell you from personal experience that if I will spend a few minutes cleaning and organizing and keeping my home to a minimum of junk, my brain feels better. It literally, there's something powerful about cleaning out the junk in our, in our physical environment that helps us to clean out the junk in our brain environment. It helps us to clean out and declutter the stress and the trials and the burdens and the things that are bugging us in our brains. There's just a coordination. There is a correlation between junk and clutter in our lives and junk and clutter in our brains and in how we're feeling and in how we're able to handle stress and trials and burdens and troubles. You guys, I've seen it over and over again. If I will put my physical environment together, even if it's just my bedroom, like even if I go and I just clean my bedroom and my bedroom is clean and organized and peaceful, I function better and my brain is able to process the stress that I'm dealing with and the problems and the trials and I'm actually able to problem solve. When my house is full of clutter, I can't solve anything. I can't even think straight. So you guys, your challenge today, spend 10-ish minutes, pick, it doesn't even have to be your whole house. I'm not, I'm not suggesting you clean out your whole house. Go to your silverware drawer and just clean out your silverware drawer or the junk drawer that you know you have in your kitchen somewhere or maybe it's your bedroom. Maybe it's just cleaning off your bed or underneath your bed. It doesn't matter what area you choose to clean today. Pick something small. It can be your dining room table and just clean it off. Uh, move the laundry from the couch. Fold it. Put it away. Or better yet, best tip ever, don't fold it. Just go shove it in your kids' drawers because they're going to throw it out and it's going to go all over everywhere anyway. So you don't really need to fold your kids' laundry. Like, just stick it in the drawers. That way it's not on your couch in your bed stressing you out, right? You guys, clean, orderly, create that environment in your life, in your physical environment, and I promise you, you will watch it have super huge correlations to your actual mental health, to how you're able to handle and deal with stress and process those things in your life. So you guys, clean, organize, and bonus tips if you throw stuff away, big black trash can bags that you can just fill full of crap, get rid of them, you never have to see them again. I swear, when you lighten that load and you take that to the dump, it just like, it, it, it takes emotional stuff with it. I don't know how it works, I just know that it does. Go clean, organize, de-junk, go get it done. Bye.